In Creo 12, we have enhanced Creo Simulate by adding a new contact option for solid welds. This new feature will provide the needed capability for a glued contact option when bringing solid welds from Creo Weld into Creo Simulate. On the screen, let's illustrate the existing issue when solid welds interfere with other solid welds, as is the case in this assembly corner. The first step we will take is to simply mesh the existing plates without referencing the solid welds. By default, we don't recognize the solid welds from Creo Weld unless we manually ask for these welds to be considered in the simulation. Next, let's detect all the solid welds in this assembly using the Auto Detect Weld Features function. To start with, let's not use the new option called Use Glued Interface and demonstrate the existing issue in Creo Simulate. For existing meshing between solid welds and geometry, Creo will merge the geometry together for these bonded elements. The result is errors in the meshing process because the mesher has difficulty with the shared walls. The errors are pointed out in the diagnostic window. Let's now change all the weld interfaces to use glued interface option by checking the box. Now when we go to mesh the entire model, we will have a successful mesh. Creo Simulate uses a stiff connection between the solid welds and geometry, which will act like a glued contact, resulting in bodies that are not required to merge like previous builds of Creo Simulate. Now that I have a successful mesh, I can now apply boundary conditions for fixing the geometry and applying a load to one of the walls. I now get a successful mesh and a successful simulation solve. This new option for solid welds has been a commonly asked for enhancement from Creo Simulate customers and provides a successful mesh with an accurate simulation solution.